Previously, on Seduced by a Vampire. People are going missing. They say that Teen vanished in one night alone. I think I will go to the village tomorrow myself. We have to know what we're fighting before we can prepare for the battle. You are expecting company. Venus. Putana. And now, the continuation of Seduced by a Vampire. Yeah, yeah. You gonna let me in? Just let me get my gloves. You can't be too careful when handling trash. What are you doing here? Wow, you bloodsuckers sure know how to roll out the red carpet. I'm not here for your... whatever you call it. Thrall, midnight snack. <laughs> no offense, but for a leech, you get way too hung up over these mortals. So one dies, boo-hoo. There's a literal village full of them, just over yonder. Why would I want this one so badly. Cute as they are, they have you stuck to their ass, so yeah, not worth the baggage. So you just came for your ass kicking then? Carmelina, it's fine. But will you please get to the point? I assume you aren't here for the conversation. Oh yeah, no. I'm here to borrow a cup of sugar. Not even a chuckle? All business with you, I swear. You have... contacts, right? Out in the village, the forest, that kind of thing. I mean, this place was a bitch to find. <laughs> I gotta tell you, if I didn't hate you so much, I would be impressed. And that's a quality spell you got there. But may follow the stench of death and desperation. And there you two were. <laughs> I'm getting the gloves. Wait. No, just... Fine, I'll get to the point. This place is clearly under a glamour spell. Which means that you must at least know a witch. One who lives here, in the forest. What about it? <laughs> you two girls need to have a serious conversation. Conversation about? Look, I'm only here because you might have some use after all. Tangentially, that is. You're still just an animated corpse, really. I found the gloves. But Hands of the merchandise. <coughs> You've lived this long and never learned basic manners? You stupid bitch. <coughs> Listen to me, spaghetti. I know you only care about numero uno, but this, this matters to you. To me, to every creature in this godforsaken place that relies on the living flesh of mortal men to satiate our hunger. Capiche? So please, keep your syphilitic hands to yourself for once. Show a little gratitude for the monster about to educate your ignorant ass. <coughs> As I was saying, before I was so rudely molested, you know a witch. At the very least, some magic user, right? Go on. Right. Well, it was the darndest thing. After you sent your... this lovely creature to rescue your missing snack. Missing? Stolen. Rescued. Children. The point... Venus, get to it. I got to thinking. Maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to take a meal ahead of schedule. 
keep it in storage, you know, until the mood strikes. Then I don't mind the company, especially when the company can't scream. So I went out for a walk and just figured I'd make my way to the village, see if I could catch any stragglers on the outskirts of town and give them a hug. You know as well as I do how rarely you find mortals in these woods. Well, living ones. But darned if I didn't stumble into one just a few feet from my cave. I thought, oh, it's my lucky day. They're coming to me now. How delightful. <laughs> but no, it was... There was something wrong with it. And not the body. The mind. I thought it might have been one of yours. You're doing. Another thrall. No, it wasn't. Well, no shit. If it was, I wouldn't have bothered coming here, would I? I tried to talk to it, get its attention, turn on the charm. But it just kept going. I was standing right in front of it, but its eyes... It didn't see me. It didn't hear me. It was under some kind of spell. Charm or something. The missing villagers. More than one, right? I'm not surprised. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. A story's not over. I just brushed it off. Figured it was thrall. Maybe it was crazy. No big deal. What's one mortal life worth to a creature as powerful and endless as I? <clears throat> Shut it, whore. But a short while later, I saw another one. This human was different, though. It did see me. It attacked me. It wasn't alive, not like the first one. And this human was... reanimated, I think. Stupid, obviously, because it couldn't tell that I wasn't... to be fucked with. I ripped it apart, but... You know a witch. Whatever is happening to these mortals, she has to know something. Or at the very least, how to knock it the hell off. Look, I don't care about human life, obviously. But if someone is fucking with the food supply, they're fucking with me. I don't build bridges like you do. I don't see the point. Well, they didn't. Until now. So, you can go to this Sabrina, Hilda, who the fuck ever, and find out what's going on. Why would we do you any favors, you evil bitch? <laughs> Favor? And this affects us all, princess. You rely on the humans as much as I do. More even. Can't go a few days without blood, can you, poor baby? <laughs> Weak. Dead. Human. I may be a dead human, but at least my face is my own. Mm. Jealous? Enough. Carmelina, if what she says is true, it would make sense. They are being drawn here, like moth to a flame. But why? I don't know. Yeah, so weird. Neither do I. Oh, you know who might? That witch I mentioned, yeah. So crazy. Maybe you could... Oh, I don't know. Talk to the bitch. We aren't exactly friends, merely... Acquaintances. I have traded with her in the past. Blood for spells and things of that nature. We do not converse on a regular basis. She is a rather... solitary individual. I do not imagine she would be responsible for something like this. It is unlike her. Well, we wouldn't want to bother her. No, it's a much better idea to let all the humans wander into the forest to die. 
Lily says she isn't inconvenienced. I get your point. It is the best lead we have, Countess. Even if it came from this... Putana. Yes, I agree. Amazing! I'm so glad we had this chat. It's super helpful. Where do you think you're going? Um, away? As lovely as this dilapidated hole is. Love the furnishings, very 18th century. I think I'd rather get back to anywhere else at this point. No. You're coming with us. What? Okay. You've seen the humans with your own eyes. I do not want to bring her second-hand information. Which might ask questions that I could not answer, but that she might. See, I don't do social interaction that doesn't end in a hug. You get me? And I'd really rather not be around one of those twinkle fingers. To be honest, they kind of freak me out. Coward. You say that now, but you haven't seen the shit I have. The things they're capable of. Behind those sweet, seemingly mortal exteriors. <sighs> you think I'm bad? At least I'm honest about what I am. <sighs> Fuck it. Fine. I'll come with you. But then you definitely will owe me. You took my pet. You were going to eat them. <sighs> Call it even. I'll think about it. Are we going tonight, then? No. It is getting late. The sun will be up in a few hours, and I do not know how long we will be gone. Tomorrow night. Return tomorrow night, just after sunset. Are you serious? I have to come back again? Of my own free will. <laughs> or I could find you and drag you here. But neither of us wants that. Please, keep the threats to yourself, honey. I already said I'd do it. But I swear to God, this better work. Oh, and if I end up a frog or something, I will rub my warty little frog body all over your faces and leave you paralyzed to greet the sun. Just keep that in mind. Bye for now, bitches. Don't miss me too much. I hate that fucking putana. At least she'll be useful for once. And at least we have a lead, even if it came from an unlikely place. You think we can trust her? I don't think Venus would have come here if she wasn't concerned. And if she's concerned, it is concerning. I know. I'm sorry, my pet. That must have been unpleasant for you, being around that creature after everything you went through. Pet. 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 Umano, we are talking to you. There you are. Did you not hear me just now? No. And Carmelina, did you hear her? No. Hmm. That is also concerning. Where were you, then, if you were not here? A voice beckoning you. Is that voice still there? Pet. Pet. I'm sorry. I had to do that, but I was losing you again. Perhaps if you put him under your troll. Yes. I might have to. Pet. Look at me. In the eyes. It's for your own good. 
Just look at me deep into my eyes. Just like that. Yeah. Do you see how deep they are? How dark? How warm and soft and soothing it is. How you could slip down into them. Slip into the deep, inky black of my eyes. Like sinking into a warm bath. No, pet. Pet, look at me. Look at me, pet, into my eyes. Pet. Pet! <laughs> Damn it. It didn't work. I have never seen it fail before. Whatever it is that is affecting the villagers. I'm afraid that you are not immune. What does that mean? It means that tomorrow night, we find the witch. We figure out who's doing this. And we end it, whatever this is, once and for all. No one touches my property.